as well as we sense. How are yeah. you doing today, man? Not too bad, not too bad. Just getting ready to start the day. Cool. Hey, you've got, um, so you kind of developed the, uh, the Megatron, the amazing 8-bit synth. That does other things as well. You put the yep. overlay on it and it transforms. Love, love that idea. Yep. Um, but here today, you've got something, again, quite new and I think almost kind of like quite different and unexpected. Yes. Tell yeah. us a little bit about it. Uh, well, I'm introducing uh, a sneak preview of the new range of synths that will follow on from the App Megatron, which is the ATX range, which is a uh, stands for App Megatron Expandable. Uh, and at the moment, uh, I'm developing that towards two new synths. Uh, one of those is uh, the direct success of the App Megatron, the App Megatron 2. Uh, it's also, it's just basically two app Megatrons in the one unit, um, and then uh, that the bigger brother to that is the app Multitron, which is a full keyboard. Um, these were there'll also be Euro rack modules available in the range, and possibly even a 19-inch rack unit as well if there's a demand for it. Um, there's lots of major improvements over the original app Megatron. Uh, the, these include uh, on um, on taking the uh, Multitron, which is the one that's on and working. Um, we now have analog filters as well here, as well as the classic at Megatron digital filters. So here's the uh, analog filters, CM3320. Uh, based on the Elka Synthex, and that sounds really nice when you mix it with the, the classic at Megatron uh, crunchy 8 bit filters. So that's the 8 bit there. So you hear them working nicely together. It's also, uh, uh, they're under digital control, the analog filters. There's also eight uh, analog VCAs. Uh, also under digital control and also an effects chip. Um, other major improvements are everything's now done for our micro SD, so uh, you uh, can upload the software internally directly with no programmer cables. So that's gone. I guess the biggest change is the now there's no need for the overlays. The overlays are gone. We've got an OLED screen, so all the labelling is on OLED. Uh, so the need for overlays has been completely removed. Obviously, they update to whatever software you're off. You've got uh, the uh, all the classic sort of uniqueness of the App Megatron still applies to both of these new instruments. Uh, apart from it, sort of, it, you've now got multiple layers, so you can uh, you don't just have this as an eight voice polysynth. You could have uh, four voice polysynth, and then maybe two drum machines, an Audi-tron on that one, and a strings machine on that one. Uh, obviously there's two voices in this one, but you could still have a, a drums on one channel and a, a bass line on another. Or, you know, two lots of drums, that's a 16 channel drum machine. Uh, or two at Megatrons, or two string machines that would turn it into an ace voice string machine, for instance. So you can do any permutation of any of the software. Um, You've also got internal routing as well. So these all have inputs. The original App Megatron didn't have an audio in. The Ossitron, uh, which is going to be back in stock in a couple of, in a week or so, uh, that's still going strong. Uh, that introduced the audio input and introduced wavetable sampling where you could input something like a microphone or anything you like and you could sample the wave, a wavetable from the audio in. Um, so that will feature it in the new range of synths as well, but it will be more versatile than that. You'll be able to route any uh, any output internally to any input, and be able to do things like frequency modulation. So you could create DX7 style towers of oscillators for interesting timbres. Obviously, it won't sound anything like DX7, but uh, still be an interesting sound.